Assalamu alaikum and thank you guys for joining us today for our agent briefing for Mudun Aranim. Mudun Aranim in general, I personally feel one of the best townhouses in town. And now before we go more into details about the event, let's Mr. Tom, my colleague from development, to take us through the project details. Thank you. Thank you, Marwan. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Tom Crute. I'm representing Dubai Holding Real Estate Development Department. And it's my pleasure to take you through a short presentation on Mudon Renim 5. We've made some changes since Renim 1 to 4, um, and it's, we're quite happy with how it's turned out. So we've got some interesting enhancements to take you through. But first of all, we're going to take you through location, then we'll take you through the green space, then amenities, and then we'll walk you through the layouts. So first of all, we'll start with the location. For those of you, you that don't know where it is, uh, it's on the corner of Al Qudra Road and the E611. It's five minutes to Global Village, 15 minutes to the Maktoum Airport, 20 minutes to downtown Dubai, and then 15 minutes to the Dubai Hills Mall. So within the Mudon master plan, you can see on the top of your screen where Mudon Renim 5 is. It's just to the north of the central zone uh, where you've, Renim 1 to 4 was located. So it's a good location with easy access in and out. So I've got to zoom in here. You can see in the top right hand corner of the screen, you can see all the green spaces we've introduced. And we've actually connected it through to Renim 1 to 4. And as you're aware, we had lots of green space in one to four. So we've just tried to um, emphasize the, the connection to, to Renim 5. So within this, I've got a further zoom in here and I'll talk you through the amenities. So within Renim 5, we've got fitness stations, kids play areas, picnic areas and barbecues, neighborhood parks and linear parks, uh, adults and children's swimming pools, and also jogging tracks. So we've tried to keep it as a very livable, uh, comfortable community. Now within the master plan, you can see this different color chart here. In summary, we've got the three beds in the, in the middle units, and then on the corners, we've got the four bed units. Throughout the community, we had a lot of success with the G plus twos. So we've also got about 25% of the villas will be G plus twos, and they moved very quickly in the last phases. So we think they'll be popular again. So we've got an aerial view here looking through what we call the central valley, which is the green space in the middle of the screen. You can see moving to the left hand side, the connection through to Mudon Renim one to four. Here's a view looking over the main swimming pool. You can see the four bed unit in the, in the background and in the foreground, you've got lots of nice manicured gardens and a, and a large swimming pool. Uh, here's another view looking through the park at the villas on the left and the right hand side. And here's a beautiful view. Um, this is the garden view. And you can see immediately, it's very different to what we did in Renim one to four. We've enhanced the facade. So you can see a lot of natural stone on the, on the facade. And you, of course, in the foreground of the shot, you can see the double volume space of, of the four bed end unit, which I'll take you through in the layouts. But you can see we've put a lot of detail into the projections and we're really happy with how it's come out. Here's another shot just looking back at the villas, just emphasizing the double volume space. And then of course, this is a G plus two villa. So you can see that roof terrace on the top. Here's a street view. What we tried to do on the street view is also use a lot of stone, but also introduce some greenery just to break up the, the hardscape and, and just give it more of a lush feeling. Now, this is a double volume space. So the key difference that we have is this living room where we've got the, the double volume space. We did this just to really open up the area and you can see lots of natural light coming through. So we think this will be a very popular um, unit type. Um, now this is standing in the living room, looking back at the kitchen. Um, it's important to note that the kitchens, we've made a real focus on um, enhancing the storage and using very high quality joinery. So we've taken a lot of time to get this joinery right and uh, we think everyone's gonna be really impressed with it. Here's a view from the master bedroom. In the master bedroom on the left-hand side of the screen, we've introduced two windows just to really emphasize natural light. And then of course the master bedrooms are all looking over the, the garden terrace areas with, with the balcony. So 
Um, lots of natural light and fresh air for the master bedrooms. Uh, here's a view of the master bathroom. Um, all the master bathrooms have got the double wash basin, um, engineered stone tops and plenty of space in there uh, for the showers. Uh, we've introduced niches and we're using very high quality porcelains in here. So I've got some layouts to take you through. So this is the three bed G plus one. So 2351 square feet in total. We've rearranged the um, staircase just to really open up the, the main entrance. So you get a nice open space through the main entrance. Uh, we've got a large galley style kitchen, enormous living space, and then the natural light coming through the, um, through the windows on the living and, and the dining space. Um, upstairs, uh, we've increased the size of the master bedroom uh, from the earlier phases. Uh, there's a large walk-in uh, closet and we've also introduced a, a balcony on that side. Now, continuing with the three bed, but going to the G plus two, what we've done here is we've, um, we've increased the size of the family room, and we've also, due to popular demand, we've increased the size of the terrace. So when you look at the total area of 2,914 square feet, these are a bit bigger than what we've did in the earlier phases, mainly due to the, the rooftop terrace, which we think will be a real selling point. Now over to the four bed G plus one, 2468 square feet in total. Um, we've really relied on the, um, on the side entrance just to, to give a grand entrance, double volume space as soon as you walk in, um, guest room on the lower level. And then if you look to the left hand side, you can see the double volume space in the living room um, with the windows either side. So you're getting all of these beautiful views across into the, into the garden area. Upstairs, you can see the master bedroom. Again, beautiful views across into the garden space and then the two other bedrooms on the, um, on the street side. Now, the last layer we're gonna show you is the four bed G plus two. Um, so we're just over 3000 square feet. Um, guest room on the lower level, um, the big master bedroom on level one. And then you can see we've gone for an even bigger family room. A lot of people were quite happy with the family space on, on the G plus two. So what we've done is we've enhanced it and we've also increased the size of the balcony. So this, as I said before, different layouts, different facades. We're really happy with how it's turned out and we hope you will be too. That concludes our presentation. We're really excited about this project and I'm going to pass over to Mr. Marwan Al-Kindi to take you through some of the sales details. Thank you. Thank you, Tom, for the informative presentation. And now let me take you through the event details. So the launch will take place on 3rd of May. It's going to be Wednesday, guys. And the actual sale will start at 9 a.m. The sales will take place at our CityWalk sales boutique. And now to the most important part, the prices and the sizes of our townhouses. The three bedroom starting price from 2.3 million, while the four bedroom starting price will be 2.75 million. The payment plan. Our payment plan for the townhouses of Modern Aranim will be 60-40. 60% during construction and 40% on handover, which will take place July 26. On the launch day, the customer need to pay 10% for booking plus the 2% land department registration fee. Yes, there is a 50% waiver on land department registration fees. Thank you guys for joining us today and wishing to see you inshallah soon at our launch and our sales boutique on 3rd of May. Thank you.